Peeps. Recent rumors and leaked site plans are pointing to a potential new roller coaster coming to Busch Gardens Williamsburg in the site where Drakenfire once stood. Now, before we get started, I wanted to give full credit to bgwfans.com for doing all this research and all the info and allowing creators such as myself to share it with viewers like you. They didn't have a Patreon or a donate button, but if they want to reach out, happy to send all revenue generated from this video to the charity of their choosing. But definitely check out their website for all the latest in Busch Gardens Williamsburg rumors and news. Um, I've linked it in the description below if you're watching this on an iPad or a phone or if you're watching it on your computer. But if you're watching it on your TV, bgwfans.com. So, with all that said, could the upcoming 50th anniversary of Busch Gardens Williamsburg result in the return of another icon back to the park, the Big Bad Wolf? Maybe, but in an all-new form. Uh, see, for years, the land next to the Fest House, known as Fest House Park, um, which is where hollow scream houses like uh, Witch of the Woods and um, Nevermore have been these last few years, has really sat dormant, but has been rumored to be part of multiple different projects, um, including a massive giga coaster that would have stretched all the way from that land to the pastures by Festa Italia. Now, likely due to cost issues or a number of other factors that included crossing the Rhine River with a coaster, um, that project kind of turned into two different projects. So rather than having one giga coaster stretch that entire stretch of land, now we've got two coaster projects, one of which we already know became Pantheon, which opened in spring 2022. Now the other coaster was going to be released on the heels of Pantheon, like probably the following year, that kind of thing. But obviously in that time, we had a number of COVID related delays. So Pantheon itself was originally going to be released a year earlier. And like I said, didn't come out until spring 2022. But since then, earlier this year, Busch Gardens kind of turned their attention towards the real estate they had within the confines of Dark Castle, and we received the new family roller coaster, Dark Coaster. So the project in Fest House Park kind of continued to evolve, with projects ranging from like a 350 foot tall spire to a more conservative 220 foot roller coaster project. Now, the latest coaster plans that have been revealed to BGW fans falls more into the family coaster variety um, of coasters. I'm putting up the image here so you can see that throughout the plan, there are a ton of black rectangles and squares that mark areas where new surfaces are to be installed as part of this project. And given how numerous they are and the patterns and paths established by their placement, they seem to represent footer locations for a roller coaster. Following the path of those likely footer locations, the website generated what is likely to be a pretty accurate footer map for what they're saying is a proposed roller coaster. With all of the information they have, they believe that what we're looking at here is a family inverted coaster, likely from Swiss coaster manufacturer Bolliger and Mobilard. Hopefully I pronounced that right. Per their analysis, the coaster appears to consist primarily of the station area, two lift hills, and a long series of banked hills and turns. They've also posited that it won't be a traditional sit-down style coaster, but rather an inverted coaster like Alpengeist or the Big Bad Wolf, which we talked about earlier and we'll get to here in a second. As you can see, they've come up with a code name for the project, Holtzfaller, which translates to Woodsman. So why that code name? Well, Holtzfaller is the German word for Woodsman. And like we've already mentioned in this video, like we've mentioned in the, probably the title of this video and even the thumbnail, that Woodsman code name is a reference to the return of the Big Bad Wolf. So we know, as fans, Busch Gardens has been leaning hard into the nostalgia over these last few years, right? Um, in addition to The Legend Lives On, the revamp of the Loch Ness Monster, we've also had Dark Coaster revitalized into, excuse me, Dark Castle revitalized into Dark Coaster. And 2025 is the big 50th anniversary of Busch Gardens Williamsburg. And what better way to take advantage of that nostalgia and that celebration than perhaps reintroducing an old classic, The Big Bad Wolf. Now, I'm not saying, like the Loch Ness Monster, that The Big Bad Wolf is going to be the same exact coaster that it was before. Obviously, that land and that real estate that were part of that iconic attraction have been used for Verbolton. But I think what BGW fans is saying is that perhaps what we're looking at is 
using that Big Bad Wolf theme in an all new way to present this family coaster attraction in time for the 50th anniversary. So why does BGW fans feel like this attraction is going to be themed to the Big Bad Wolf? Well, in the first half of the ride, riders would swing through a Bavarian village that had like candles flickering in the windows while you heard the wolf howl in the distance. There's a very strong suggestion in these planned documents that that may be referenced. Around part of the southernmost turn of the coaster's layout, there are a series of what look to be facades labeled two-dimensional structures. Perhaps a 2D building facade? Additionally, Busch Gardens Tampa will be having a new B&M inverted coaster coming in 2024, which points to them already working with parent company SeaWorld Parks and Entertainment. Phoenix Rising, as pictured here, is slated to open with onboard audio. And if BGW fans is right about Holtzfaller, onboard audio would be a great way to bring back the Howling Wolf audio from the original ride. Here, you'll see the proposed layout that BGW fans has presented. It has a station platform, a U-turn to the right to meet the base of the first lip, a fairly short first lip tilt, probably in the ballpark of about 70 feet, and then a series of swooping turns and dives over the old rock and fire maintenance building and railroad through the woods, eventually down to that southernmost turn with the facades that we just talked about. Then the coaster will circle back on itself to meet up with some brakes and then take the layout into what's potentially a second lift hill, which will carry riders back across the railroad tracks before dropping them back down towards Drakenfire's maintenance structure. Uh, from there, the coaster seems to navigate to a hammerhead turn before hitting the final brakes. Now, the website has also worked with creators Coaster Mac and Intim305 to come up with potential concepts for the coaster. While I'm only sharing images here, at the end of this video, I'll link both of their videos so you can see their concepts in motion. Again, a special thanks to BGWFans.com for doing all the research that we presented here, for being open to content creators such as myself, sharing it with everybody. Really a lot of work. It's a great article. There's a ton more information than even I'm presenting here. So definitely check out their website. You know, Busch Gardens Williamsburg's Big Bad Wolf was really my first adult roller coaster. In our Loch Ness Monster video, I had mentioned that that was my first looping coaster. Big Bad Wolf was my first quote unquote adult roller coaster, where it was like um, not themed just for kids, like a Scooby Doo roller coaster, a King's Dominion, or anything like that. Um, you know, one of my fondest memories of that ride is when they announced it was closing, riding it uh, in evening time with my father, actually, and just being able to stay on and ride it repeatedly because there was no line behind us. And so I really have great memories of that original ride, and it makes me very excited with the hope. Obviously, this is all rumor, unconfirmed, um, but well-researched, that we may see a coaster themed to that coming back. Um, I love that theme. I love how it points to the old country aspect of Busch Gardens Williamsburg, the old German, you know, Bavarian village. You know, I, I love all of that idea and I really, really hope it's true. So what do you think? Um, did, were, did, did you ever ride the original Big Bad Wolf? Um, what were your fondest memories of it? Um, do you think that Big Bad Wolf is coming back? And if it is, are you excited? Leave us a comment down below. Let us know your thoughts. Let us know your memories. You know, give us some feedback on this video if you like seeing it. And if you did like watching this video, definitely hit the thumbs up button, hit the subscribe button and the little notification bell so that you're notified when we release upcoming coverage. Thank you all for watching. Thanks again to BGW fans, and we will see you next time.